Hey guys, it's Test again, uh, shooting another video. Uh, this one is a showcase type video for this little device that you're looking at uh, in front of us. So, uh, uh, this thing, you know, I've had a hard time trying to come up with a name for it. Uh, I'm not for sure what you would call it. Maybe a input decoder or a scrambler, maybe a piston scrambler. I, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe if you guys are, if there's anyone even watching, um, you guys could uh, suggest a name for it. Maybe I, I don't know. Um, I guess for now we'll call it uh, the scrambler. Maybe P scrambler. <laughs> Anyhow, okay. So what it does is um, when I press this button it will produce an output and it will produce a different output for each possible configuration that these two switches can be in so uh, that that one you saw we got second from the right and now I have one switch up, one switch down, um, and I got second from the left, both down, and I got the left most. Uh, so yeah, so you can see it's actually, um, it was originally designed for a combination lock. You can see over here I have a very large combination lock setup. This is one of my, uh, this is the earlier standard uh, large RS Norlatch tumbler setup here. Um, it's actually pretty cool because this whole side over here, this is my big, my first big lock um, that I was playing around with uh, earlier. And, uh, <laughs> you know, it's all quite large, and I've actually managed to get each one of these modules here, this one, the scrambler module over here, the uh, tumbler module here, and the counting module here. Um, I've actually managed to miniaturize all of that, so that's pretty cool. Um, you know, they're kind of scattered around. Each one of those little devices are scattered around in different videos. Um, but I'm actually looking forward to getting all these miniaturized modules together into one uh, combination lock showcase that uh, is nearly done. Uh, I got a lot of um, I got a lot of really cool stuff finished and ready for it, and uh, I'd like to see my compact um, combination lock when it's done and see just how compact it really turns out to be. So anyhow, that's about it for this video, guys. I just wanted to show off this uh, pea scrambler or whatever we're going to end up calling it. And uh, Oh, one more thing I wanted to add before I end is that uh, one of the main features on this device is how easy it is to scramble, or, or to, sorry, to change the... Um, the configuration on this, the combination, the order in which the switches need to be um, changed to different configurations. And, and all you need to do is just uh, change how these uh, these um, these blocks back here are for redstone, and then these two blocks up here are for redstone torches, and uh, each uh, one of these different colors, these are the different unique outputs, has a different configuration uh, as you can see and if you just change those around um, you know we can change which lever configurations go to which of these unique outputs which are of course in a, in a lock scenario connected to your RS Norlatch chain um, which in effect basically changes the order in which you use the, the different lever setups. Which is pretty rad, I think. Because um, with the older 
uh, with just straight button inputs, um, you know, if, in order to change the lock or even to set the lock up in the first place, you have to kind of snake those um, button outputs um, all over the place a lot of times, um, and it can get really messy trying to get the the, the buttons uh, wired up to the proper RS door latches along the uh, tumbler module. So anyhow, guys, yeah, that's it. Um, it's pretty rad. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting uh, getting the whole design finished. Uh, and I'll tell you now, it's not going to be as compact as as, uh, <laughs> as you'd think a compact lock would be, but uh, that's okay. Uh, most of this stuff is just for fun, anyhow. Um, yeah. Also, just uh, I got to to do my first request video tonight and that was a lot of fun guys so keep those requests coming um questions you know whatever I, i'd love to i love to make these things and uh, gives me a challenge to kind of play around and uh, if you have a question that i can answer uh, i'll totally make a video just uh, just to have the fun of doing it so all right guys have a good night and i'll see you soon